All right, guys, let's take a look at the uh, sizing procedure for uh, venting or determining the correct size of the vent connector as well as the common vent of a draft hood type appliance. Uh, the demonstration that I'm going to do with you this today here is we're going to look at a draft hood, category one draft hood furnace that is identified right here. It happens to be 90,000. And we've got a, an outlet or a draft hood flue collar outlet out of the appliance that happens to be five inches in diameter. And the vent connector type is gonna be single wall. So we have that identified in my picture already. So the lateral in this case would be significant um, that there is a limit on the lateral. Generally, it's about a one-to-one -one ratio so uh, to the vent height and in this particular case um, it is the lateral happens to be five feet and we have a vent height of 10 feet the rise is really not a uh, any type of a consideration however generally it's advantageous to have as much rise as you can out of the appliance to start to build that momentum prior to getting into the vent system so let's take a look at the sizing of this one and, and specifically how we're going to do this so the first thing that i had done was i had identified that we wanted to use table 13.1 b and so i'm going to pull up my 2018 54-18 uh, code book and i went right directly to that particular um, double wall b vent that uses a single wall category uh, single wall uh, metal vent connector is what we have here. So let's take a look at, uh, at to see where that fits into our application. So it looks like um, it is what we end up having here. So I'll go back to the picture. So in our problem we happen to have, uh, in this case, it happens to be a 10 foot system with a five foot lateral. Those are the key things. The other thing that I really wanna make a, take a look at is we happen to have two elbows. So in my application, I've got an elbow that's at the bottom of my vent system, and I have an elbow that is part of the lateral. So we're dealing with two elbows. So um, the tables or the code uh, allow us to have up to two elbows, two 90 degree elbows. Anything beyond that, we would need to start derating it. So a helpful guide that I think will help everybody out as you're doing these problems would be to uh, pull up the um, M26 handout on the code uh, for guide venting, uh, the guidelines for venting. And here they'll identify certain types of rules for multiple and single appliances and things like that. So um, vent tights, it might, it might be somewhat helpful uh, to do that. So in this uh, problem here, as I had said, two elbows, no derating is needed because the tables allow us. We have a 10 foot height and we have a five foot ladder. So let's take a look at this. So in my uh, table that I have here, I'm gonna dial down in here 13.1b. And on this particular one here, we have, I'm gonna highlight a couple of things in here. So we just happen to be lucky enough that we happen to have a 10 foot high system. Okay, that's easy enough. I don't have any explanation. If it would have been a, a 12 foot high vent system, I would have used the 10 foot high vent system simply because if it's good at a 12, it will definitely be good at a 10 foot uh, vent system for the height. Simply because the taller the vent system, the more energy you're gonna have, the better off you're gonna be. So um, that's a little helpful tip on trying to, to solve some of these um, uh, vent sizing issues. So the next thing that we had was a lateral dimension. And this particular one, was a lateral of five feet. So again, um, so I will uh, re, uh, I will do that. So I'm gonna actually do that one in orange here. So I have a five foot lateral. Now, if I would have had a, a three foot or a four foot lateral or a four and a half foot lateral, I would have still used that five foot row simply because the longer the lateral, the more energy you steal away from your vent system. So you're better off to as you're doing these sizing problems and make sure that you uh, err on those sides. So on the 
to determine that, you know, which lateral would I use? What you're trying to figure out is, is there any way that I can avoid having to try to do some interpolation between the values on the tables? And in some cases, it may not be necessary. So if you can avoid a little bit of extra work, more power to us. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a look at um, this system. And again, the problem that we have here is we've got a draft hood appliance it's 90,000 and we have a five inch uh, drafted. So let's go and see where the table allows us to determine what that system is gonna be. So in this particular case, um, I'm gonna start out most likely and go to my, um, I'm gonna go to this five inch uh, column and we're gonna use the natural max um, is gonna be how we wanna do this. And what we're gonna do is go down and dial down to that row. So I, as I can see here, the row that would be for a five inch, or a five foot lateral, excuse me, a five foot lateral, and if I go all the way down to the natural max column, it will identify in that row that it, it has a capacity of 122,000 BTUs. So it could handle an appliance that is up to 122,000 BTUs of capacity within a five inch B vent system with a five inch uh, single wall vent connector using the 10 foot high system and a lateral of five feet. So now the question becomes, could I have used a four inch? Because I, I could potentially downsize it. So I'd like to do that. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna switch this over to um, a red one. And so, and I'm, I'm just throwing this out there because if I can use a smaller vent, I would like to be able to do that. Now, there are some rules that I have to abide by if I am going to downsize. And uh, I'll have to check those to see. But if it doesn't work, there's no sense for me to go through that, um, that verification at the moment. So let's go ahead and try it. So a four inch, as I can tell from here, you'll notice that that would have only had a capacity with a four inch uh, downsizing, that would have had a capacity of only 76,000 BTUs, and we have a 90,000 BTU um, appliance. There is no uh, way for us to be looking at this. So this one's a, a very simple process. So in the end, our we are going to definitely use a five inch um, vent in this particular case. So when I go back to my problem, I'm going to identify this and say um, that we have a vent diameter of five, and that's inches. And we're going to make that bigger. Okay. All right. And um, the vent uh, connector would also be five inches. I probably could pull that one out of there, but. Um, so each of those would be five inch. You're not gonna probably, uh, you likely probably wouldn't use a, a four inch connector to a five inch vent, but it's certainly possible. I guess you could have it in a, in a job site where it's, it is that way. So that, that is one of those things. The other thing that would probably be valuable and um, most of the code worksheets and things like that that they have out in the field, um, usually you know, they'll say, you know, make a note if there is any D rating. So, in this case, I'm gonna make a note in my problem that uh, D rating not required uh, for this problem. And there it is. At least it tells me as if I go back on this and I can identify, yes, this is indeed uh, what we want to do. So that is how you size a single category one appliance with a draft hood that has a single wall vent pipe with a, to a B vent uh, system. So those are all the good things.